Welcome back, guys, to our playthrough of Pokemon Gold. We are here at Indigo Plateau, right outside the Pokemon League headquarters where the uh, Elite Four are waiting for us. The ultimate goal for trainers. Uh, we are, I think, ready to take them on. Um, I spent some time leveling up, and I... <sighs> I'm a little disappointed, actually, because I looked this up after the fact. So this is my team right now. I wanted everybody to be at level 45. You'll notice we did a team member swap. I put Ho-Oh back in the box because I didn't want it to be part of my uh, Hall of Fame. That's what I was thinking. And I brought Growlithe back. Problem is, is that Growlithe is a little bit too high level. I spent some time with him because I wanted him to learn Flamethrower. And I want. And once we get a Firestone in the in-game in Kanto, like way off after this, then uh, we'll evolve them into Arcanine, and Arcanine can't learn Flamethrower, so I figured this would be the next best way. Growlithe is a little OP, but there's sort of like a balance with that. Because he's a first stage Pokemon, he's not he's not really strong, so I kind of feel like once we get into the battle with him, he'll still be able to, like, it's still a risk, despite the level advantage we'll have over the opponents. Now, that's the other problem, is that everyone is so under level from a gym standpoint, from the Elite Four standpoint, and I thought they were going to be a little bit tougher. But the other thing is, is that I feel like my team, while not necessarily going to stomp the Elite Four, I feel like there's going to be sort of a, a moderate challenge in some circumstances due to the elemental typing, but the final champ is the one that I'm worried about, and he outlevels us mostly. So anyway, without further ado, let's jump into it and see what's going on. Um, we should have plenty of items. We should have plenty uh, when well, we're healed up as well. I think we're ready to take on the first member of the Elite Four. I don't expect this to be a really long video, by the way, but we'll drag it out as best we can. All right, so who are we facing first? Um, I think this guy uses Psychic-type Pokemon, even though the room is looking like it's got water. Um, What are we doing? What are we doing? I don't really have anyone that's great against Psychic-type. I think Espeon is the only one. That's gonna be okay, so we're gonna go ahead. Let's, I'm wondering, I'm trying to think of a way to make this challenging. What do we, why don't, I feel like Furret is gonna have a hell of a time in here. But let's see if we can beat the whole team with just Furret. I'm wondering if maybe, I mean, I'm not gonna promise this because I don't know how it's gonna go, but I wanna see if maybe I can beat each member of the Elite Four with one Pokemon. In this case, we're gonna try and use Furret. I can't promise it's gonna work out that way because he might, he might knock out Furret and we're not doing any sort of Nuzlocke situation. So if Furret gets knocked out, I'm just gonna use something else. But like, I'm not gonna start over. But I think Furret will be the ready ready and willing Pokemon up front to take on this goofy guy. Why Why does he look like he's in blackface? He's got like, he's got, he has like a little, like look at, look at my character. Like I've got a normal human face with eyes and a mouth. And this guy looks like some guy who's trying to do like some sort of like not normal looking thing. Like, look at his, his hands are white, his mouth is white, his eyes are white, but the rest is black with red hair. This whole thing is a little, I don't know, too weird. He kind of looks like a robot with that big, long mouth. But uh, yeah, I don't know why his face is black. Is that supposed to be glasses? I don't know. That's a weird sprite design. I don't know why it's like that, but whatever. Welcome to the Pokemon League, Mark. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Will. I have trained all around the world, making my psychic Pokemon powerful. And at last, I've been accepted into the Elite Four. I can only keep getting better. Losing is not an option. All right, dude. Taking off your blackface makeup. Oh, he's wearing... Wait. Is he wearing... Is that a mask? So is that why? Will Pokemon. Let me see real fast. Is that his thing? Oh, he's like a clown. That's why it looks weird. It's an actual mask. Okay, so he was... Okay. That's, that's odd, dude. So his actual game design... He's wearing like a vest, a cravat. He's got like weird wizard sleeves. And then he's got a mask on with purple hair. But they have him as red hair in this for some reason. Hmm. Okay, take back what I said. He's wearing a mask that covers his face. It's weird. All right, whatever. Tomato, tomato. All right. Elite Four Will wants to battle. Uh, Zatu. Okay, so his team... Okay, so we're not... We're not too overleveled, okay. So not they're not in the 30s. Um, I think Dig should be okay. Ampharos would have been good against Zatu as a flying type, but let's see how this goes down. Oh, he's a bird, so Alright, yeah, for it might might get KO'd here. Eesh, that's ugly. Really, really strong. Okay, let's treat Iron Tail.
way more damage than I thought. Ugh. We're off to a really bad start. If I would have used Iron Tail first. Come on, dude. Don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. Yes, my man. Yeah, well, it looks like he's going to a masquerade ball. I don't know what the gimmick is there, but okay. Jinx. Psychic Ice. Actually, I think, so speaking of blackface, so Jinx actually, I, I don't want to say Game Freak got in trouble, but Jinx used to have an actual blackface design, but they got in trouble for that being racist, so they actually altered Jinx's face later on, very subtly without even addressing it. Ooh. And made her purple instead, because it was like so, it was really, it was really bad. Like, it was really bad how they, yeah, for it's off to a rough start. Um... Yeah, I was looking at some early Kensugi Mori art, and I was like, oh yeah, Jinx, even in the Pokemon cards, is has a has black a black tone to its skin palette, but then they changed it to purple <laughs> because it was just like so racist. I don't know. It's kind of like what they did to Mr. Popo in Dragon Ball. He was black as well, and they changed his skin to blue. That one was a little weird because, like, I don't know, I don't know it. I'm white, so I don't know what I'm talking about, but I feel like at the same time, it's like these are not meant to be humans. This is a this is a pocket monster, and then Mr. Popo was a Popo was a genie, so I don't know. It just seems like I don't know. Whatever. I can't relate. It doesn't affect me, but whatever. Let's not get into it. Anyway, uh, Executor. No, we're gonna keep it going. First, doing all right. I don't want to eat up all my full restores, but. Dig is our primary. Wow, Executor looks really good. That's a good sprite. Cap is on. Oh, crap. <laughs> That's not good. Um, I don't think Iron Tail is going to do a lot, but let's see what happens. God. Oh, of course. Yeah, Exeggutor might be the biggest challenge for Furt right now. That might be a KO, actually. Ooh. Alright. Full restore again. Like I said, I'm not doing a Nuzlocke thing, but I want to challenge myself and make Furt go for it here. Ugh. Come in and hort. Come on. Alright, so we can take we can take another hit of that. Um, I don't know if strength... Let's see if slam is okay. Is it a stab move as a normal type? Ah. Dude, lay off. Actually, you know what? He runs out of power points, so it's not really that big of a deal. Alright. Well, we have hyper potions, too, so I'm gonna use those. I forgot I had those. Come on, baby. I can just run it out. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run out of his psychic because I think he's. If he has another executor, I'm in trouble. But I think this one should be. Nah, screw it. Let's go ahead and hit him with the slam. I can take another hit of it. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Furt coming in clutch. Of course, you know, I'm using a bunch of healing items, but still. Slow bro. No, I think we can keep it up. What level is he at? If it's higher than. Hmm. Let's see. Oof. Speed fell. Attack went up. Defense went up. I got a feeling that for it might might go down. Oh, that's not good. That's a special attack, though, so that his curse shouldn't have helped out with that, but... Ooh. There we go. He must have a lower special attack than Exeggutor does. Had a headache all day, and I keep on stretching my draw jaw about it. I don't know, I just felt like... 
My throat has been really sore the past few days, and I feel like also, like, I just feel so congested. My head, there's so much pressure. I feel like my brain is being crushed. I struggle with thinking enough as it is. I don't need that on top of it. Do a little damage. Oh, come on, dude. His speed went down. How is that not hitting him? All right, how much damage is that going to do? Yeah, I need to heal up again. Damn it. So what's he got? Curse and Psychic? What else does he have for a move? And how much power points does Psychic have? Is it only 10? If it's 10, then I could probably run it out, but... Come on. There you go. Do a little more damage. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Ah, oh, damn. This is gonna be chipping it away. Well, got me there. I should have more Hyper Potions than he does Psychic, but... Come on, baby. I won't use that. I haven't tried Strength. I don't think there's this is going to do much, but... It'll get him into the orange at least. That did a little more than I expected, considering. And Will is a dweeb. I don't know. All these trainers have a gimmick. Come on. In the red? Yeah. Okay, I think we could shut it down right here. Slowbro, if Slowbro doesn't put me in the red. All right. There we go. Well done, Furret. Dang, Furret on his own took down. Or is taking down. Well, I think he's got one more. Doesn't he have one more? Nice. All right, what you got? Zaw 2. Nah, we'll keep it up. What level's he at? Alright, this one's a bit of a challenge, but we raised the level 2. It was 45 and 41, now it's 46 and 42. Alright, what you got? Okay, it's not bad. It's fairly weak. So Dig doesn't work. Let's try Iron Tail again. I don't remember, did that... Come on, dude. Psych or, uh, Iron Tail did a little bit of damage against him, didn't he? It's not worth it. Let's heal up again. Damn. Will's gotta be so pissed off looking at me just like super or hyper potioning for it every time. <laughs> I'd be so mad if I was him. He could he had an ample opportunity to use potions or full restores or whatever he wanted to at any given time. He could have done it, but he chose not to. Hit him. Ah, oh, this is this is now reminiscent of the Steelix fight in Olivine. Just constant back-to-back -back miss, 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 miss every time. Dang it. That's right. Bring it up, bring it up. Use something else. <laughs> Please. Just use any other attack. Come on, hit him. Thank you. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Every time I look up and see, like, the camera and stuff, I look at my posture and I'm like, God, I just uh, got a hunchback. I have no idea how to do good posture. Yes. That's my boy. That is my boy right there. That's it. That's it. Heck yeah. For it coming in. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Will is done. The mask is so goofy. I I can't believe it. Oh, oops, I didn't get the extra money for that. Even though I was defeated, I won't change my course. I will continue battling until I stand above all trainers. Now, Mark, move on and experience the true ferocity of the Elite Four. Okay, cool. All right, we're going to go ahead and save it there. Actually, let's use a, a healing item real fast on Furry. I think he's going to sit it out now. So he's good. I probably didn't use Hyper Push for that.
Um, I'm not sure who's next, but we'll worry about that in the next episode. For now, though, we'll go ahead and save it. And this is a short one, but we'll continue with more of our Elite Four Challenge experience in the next episode of the playthrough of Pokemon Gold. If you did enjoy this one, and especially Will's Mask, show your love by the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Any feedback for me, leave it in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to take a look at the description box or some links that might be of interest to you, one of which is the link to the Mark 9 Community Discord server. If you want to be part of that group, you can chat with me directly. The community is starting to grow and is uh, fairly active. I'm very active in there. I talk to anyone and everyone when they hit me up. So if you're interested in doing that, talking to other people about video games, Pokemon, not Pokemon, not video games, whatever, that's the place to be. Otherwise, uh, I thank you again for your time. I hope to see you when we continue with more of our playthrough of Pokemon Gold. All right, guys, that's it for me. Take care. Be well. See you next time.